A group of protesters have called for an end to the increase in cases of rape around the country. The group besieged the Nigerian police force headquarters in Abuja, demanding for stiffer penalties for the sexual and gender-based violence. The protests led by a coalition of civil society organizations, including the Action Aid of Nigeria, the Dorothy Njamanze Foundation, and the Connected Development Code, and several others have also demanded for a thorough investigation into recent cases of rape, including the rape and murder of 23-year-old Uwaila Omozua in Benin City. The protesters also shamed rape apologies and others who have played a key role in silencing rape victims and stripping rape cases under the carpet. We are tired. As a matter of urgency, we want the Nigerian politicians, those in elected office, those in appointed office, those that are not yet in the, any elected or appointed office, but identified politicians, to know that we are watching every step of everything they do and say on social and gender-based violence. We have made a firm declaration that anybody that does not endorse the Child's Rights Act and Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act has no place in government. And from 2023, we are beginning to galvanize towards that because we are tired. Any man who cannot hold himself, cut it off. If, as a man, your manhood will not stop you from raping children, if you are a man, if your manhood will not restrain, if you can't restrain your manhood from committing rape, I think you can cut it off. It is a right and it is not a sin. We must have a national protocol now to secure our women and girls from rape.